Though it appears to be far smaller than some of their other houses, Prince William and Kate Middleton have called Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor Estate home since moving in just under a year ago. The Prince and Princess of Wales have been residing at their new Windsor residence for just under a year, and it appears that they won't be moving again any time soon. Since last year, the couple and their three children have been in Adelaide Cottage, but there have been rumors that they are in line to move into Prince Andrew's present residence, Royal Lodge. King Charles is reportedly eager for Andrew to leave the 30-room Royal Lodge and move into someplace smaller, but the Duke of York is reportedly sure he wants to remain where he is. As a result, even though a source claims William and Kate think Adelaide Cottage is too small, they will also have to remain there. According to the insider, although William and Kate adore the cottage, it is simply too small for them. They could all fit in the four bedrooms, but there are other factors that need to be taken into account. It's important to consider the staff and other factors. They had been seeking for a bigger house, but have now accepted that they will have to stay in the cottage because no other properties have opened up for them. But what does the cottage's interior look like, and who lived there before? Look at this now. Adelaide Cottage is located very close to Windsor Caste in the center of the 655-acre Windsor Estate. This implies that the Wallaces can visit King Charles when he is in residence quite easily. The property is named after Queen Adelaide, who served as William Ivy's wife, and used the home as a retreat in 1831. In addition, Queen Victoria was known to frequently like having breakfast there, making it one of her favorite homes. It is believed that Adelaide Cottage received significant renovations in 2015, which is why William and Kate are interested in the house because it doesn't need much maintenance. A marble Greco-Egyptian fireplace is among the interior's allegedly stunning features, despite the fact that it appears modest by royal standards. The main bedroom, on the other hand, is regarded as a work of art because of its coved ceiling, which is decorated with gilded dolphins and unique rope constructed from materials from the Royal Yacht Royal George. The villa only has four bedrooms, one for the couple and one for each of their three kids, a significant difference for Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, whose nanny Maria Borallo used to live with them at Kensington Palace and Anmer Hall, is that the family will not have live in staff, according to the Sun. Because Windsor Castle has seven secured entrances and exits, the site is also quite secluded, according to Mail Online. Adelaide Cottage has recently served as a grace and favor residence for members of the royal family and their acquaintances. However, it is also renowned for helping to facilitate one of history's most scandalous royal love tales. Group Captain Peter Townsend, Princess Margaret's love interest, was among the most well-known previous occupants. Townsend was a handsome RAF pilot who eventually served as the monarch's equerry. He was also married with two children. There were questions about his relationship with Margaret because of their 16-year age difference and the fact that he was a divorced man. At the Queen's coronation in 1953, a reporter saw her picking lint off of Townsend's jacket, which led to the discovery of their intimate relationship. The Royal Marriage Act of 1772 put an end to the couple's courtship after they became engaged in April 1953. This is due to the rule that no member of the royal family could wed a divorcee while their ex-spouse was still alive at the time. Thank you for watching. Write what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel.